Hi grade 6 students, how are you doing? I hope that you're all doing good. Now we're going to solve together the exercise spreadsheet for this semester. So this will be a solution of this spreadsheet. And we're talking here on solving questions about types and different types of analysis. In this lesson, we define or we can compare a unicellular organism and a multicellular organism. We said that a unicellular organism such as the paradisium is an organism made of one single cell, of a single cell. While multicellular organisms are complex organisms built of uh, many or a big number of cells, or this number can be a small number, or it can, uh, or uh, organisms can be made of trillions of cells. We saw also the diagram of paramecium, which is a microorganism that lives in the water around the world. This paramecium has an oral loop as a noun. It has also um, an anal cord, a pellicle, um, a cytoplasm. In this cytoplasm, there are two nucleus uh, and platinums. Okay. What are different types of human body cells? Um, the human bodies are made of different systems okay these systems are built of organs organs are made of tissues and tissues are made of cells okay we have the muscular system digestive system respiratory system these are different systems so this means that we need different types of cells to build them. I will mention the nerve cells, the skin cells, the blood cells, we have different blood cells, and many more. What's the function of each of these cells? You can refer to the lecture video of this week to remember the function of the job that each of these cells play in the body. Um, animal cells are animal cells have a cell membrane. They have a cytoplasm. In the cytoplasm, we can see different organelles such as the nucleus. Let me talk about the role of the organelles while um, mentioning them. So the nucleus is the control center. The mitochondria is. Um, powerhouse of the cell, it's where the respiration process happen. Uh, what else? We have, we have vacuoles. Um, animal cells do not have chloroplasts since they do not, um, animals don't go through photosynthesis to uh, produce their food and also they don't have um, a cell wall. Plant cells show a cell wall and chloroplasts. Question 1 is a question found in your books, in the Medicine Science book, and on page 39, this question, this question shows different types of cells, and we have to tell the name of um, each cell. In the first figure, we can see uh, cells, these cells are um, discs they have the shape of a disc and they are depressed in the center and they are red they are many also so these are the red blood cells this is a kind of cells that compose our blood what about the cells shown in the second figure let me circle them in this figure I'm asking about this. Okay? okay. So what are these? They are much fewer than the blood than the red blood cells in the blood. And they are a bit bigger. Their job is to um, fight parasites. Okay. 
What are these? These are the bond blood cells which compose the white blood cells. They are also a component of our blood. What about these cells? These are bone cells and they compose our muscles. These are our muscle muscle cells. Okay, in our body we have cells shaped like stars and these are the nerves or the nerve cells. These are the nerve cells. The last figure shows circular cells. Circular cells. These cells make your bone tissues. So they, these are the bone cells. Second question indicate the type of the blood body cell that which body cells carry respiratory gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide in the body? The red blood cells. Red blood cells' function is to carry, to move oxygen from the heart to uh, the body organs and to um, go back or to collect the weights from these organs, organs such as our legs. Which body cells transmit messages in the body from the brain to the different body organs? The nerve cells. The cells of our nervous system conduct messages in the brain to our body organs. Okay, which cells? Our body against parasites, the white blood cells, five infections. Which cells depend on nerve cells to do their jobs? They receive the, the order or the messages from the brain through the nerve cells. They cannot work without an order from the brain. What are these? Your muscle cells. The muscle cells take their orders from the neurons which are the nerve cells. Helps support the body and gives it structure. What supports your body? It's the skeleton. The skeleton is made of bones. Your bone tissue is made of bone cells. So the bone cells give your body its structure. So as you can see, we have different types of cells in our bodies and each one of these cells has its own function and its own job in our body. Question number three. I think this is a very easy question. We have to check the box and tell if the cell has this ordinal window. Okay. Do plant cells? Do plant cells have a cell membrane? Yes, they do. So we have to check the box. Do they have a cytoplasm? Yes, they do. Do plant cells have a cell wall? Yes, they do. Plants go through photosynthesis. They need chlorophyll. 
the disk of chloroplast I found inside the chloroplast. So chloroplast here yes, are found or are part of the plant cells. The plant cells have an nucleus. They have also large vacuoles. And since plants breathe, they go through the aspiration process, so they need the mitochondria. What about the animal cells? The cells that make both people and animals. Animal cells have a cell membrane. They also have a cytoplasm. But animal cells do not have... They do not have a cell wall, so you should not check this. Also, they don't have chloroplasts since animals and people don't go through photosynthesis. Animal cells have a nucleus, they have vacuoles, and they also animals breathe food, so they need to control. The last question is about the paramecium, which is a microorganism. Paramecium are microorganisms that live in koi ponds and feed on algae and other microorganisms. They move by tiny hair-like projections called cilia. So while reading this paragraph, I will start annotating and answering the first part of this question. So. Okay, there is no um, arrow pointing to the area, so I'll continue. The paramecium cannot change its shape. This is because of the thick pellicle that surrounds the cell membrane. So A is pointing to the pellicle. A is the pellicle of the paramecium. There are two types of nucleus. Plural of nucleus. The large nucleus is called the macronucleus, which controls aspiration and digestion. B is pointing to the large nucleus. The much smaller micronucleus is used only during the production. And I think D, D is pointing to the micronucleus. This is a micronucleus. Contractile vacuoles are used to remove the excess food. The contractile vacuole is shaped like a star. D is C is pointing to an organelle shaped shape like a star. So these are the contractile vacuoles. Primesium are heterophobes. They are heterophobes. They must consume food for their energy. They need to eat. Food enters the paramecium through the mouth or which is the oral food. E is pointing. Okay, so this is E. E is pointing to the mouth or of the paramecium used to consume. Define heterotrophs. What did they say in the text about heterotrophs? Heterotrophs are organisms that consume food for energy. So this this is what we should write in heterotrophs are organisms that consume food for them for their energy. What does a paramecium eat? Let's also check the text. So I was reading the text. Paramecium feed on algae and other microorganisms. 
that's what we have to write to answer part C of this question. Paramecium feed for the feed on algae and other microorganisms. Indicate the, the function of the contractile vacuole. Okay, let's read this in the text. Contractile vacuoles are used to remove the excess of water of the paramecium cell. And this is the function or the job of the contractile vacuole in paramecium body. So, contractile vacuoles are used to remove the excess water. We got all of our answers from the text. If you still have any questions about this worksheet, you can send me messages and I will answer all of your questions. Bye bye for now. Good luck in your quiz.